Hey guys, JC6 here, back at you with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Right now we are on case number... Well, the last case for the game. So let's see what's going on with Phoenix. I'll let him take the stand. When you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? Is it SL9 incident? Two years have passed since that case was closed. It's going to completely end with the transfer that day. If I have anything to do with it, and it's not over. What did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? The case is closed only to take the who was in charge of it to look through the evidence. I want to have to look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says. Partner, that case is mine. <coughs> I take up the evidence. Oh shoot. So, if I didn't make it look like Good Mills carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So, you did the full security camera. What do you mean, partner? I mean the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change the fingerprints. Normally that locker shouldn't have opened. So it opened because the rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance? Then Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. And you would think, you would think the scan the chief of police would be the one that decides Meekins' pay raise, I mean. I mean, I don't know why Edgeworth is deciding. But you know, that's, I guess it's trivial, if that's how they want to, it's like, if that's how they want to decide, you know, how, who gets what paid, then, you know, um, I guess that's their business. I knew which areas would make con the camera. There wasn't any more than the evidence room at 515. Hold it! Huh. Hmm. You know, you know what? Well, forget it. Now let's let's move on. So what you're saying is, on that day, there wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. I can't just forget the SL9 incident, you know why? Now why, why? I mean... Don't worry, don't worry Marshall, I, I, I got... I mean, I don't know exactly how Marshall feels because I'm not, I mean, but I can say for sure that, you know, I, I can understand why he's feeling so so bitter about, you know, his um, work situation, I guess. I guess I can understand, maybe not specifically understand, but I can understand, kind of understand you know, why he's feeling so bitter about it. I mean...
This is, this is going, this is getting into, let me take a drink, guys. I mean, you guys can say it with me. Let's take a drink. I had this, I had this, it wasn't really the work situation, but actually it was sort of related to what happened was, um, any of you guys, any guys who watch this channel, you guys, um, well, forget it, I, I just want to move on, fuck it. Hold it! Okay, I think, I don't know what the, what the heck actually happened, but I think, no, oh, no, 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 oh, I got present evidence, huh? Okay, he, um, ah, okay, present evidence. Okay, well, what's this? Um, I'm lost. So dark. Okay, I know what to do. I I remember. I remember. I just I just remembered. Okay, if you go, this is very very very. You actually have to do research. Actually, look at this specific, these specific files. You have to actually, you actually have to read all the words on this file to actually know what to do. Yeah, see the second page. See, SL9 victims. One of them. See the last name on there, Neil Marshall. I mean, this is so, this is so, such small detail. If you were just going through the game and you didn't see it before, you may actually be stuck here because you actually have to read the files, every word of it, to actually see the name Neil Marshall. I mean, I guess you could get lucky and just skim it and just somehow find the name, but pretty much you have to look through all the words on this file. I actually know what to do. Well, anyways, let's get back. I think I understand. I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Well, I don't know what I just I what I said is too much cactus juice. Okay, let's move on. SL9 incident file here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago, he was the same, the same lousy prosecutor award you got. He was killed, and the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. He was investigating the memorials with Damon Gant, chief detective at the time. Oh uh, man. I mean, that's... I know it's just... I know it's... And I, I mean, let me take a drink, guys. 
Oh man. I mean that sucks. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's putting it lightly, I guess. You know, I mean, I mean, but whatever. I can't, I can't, I can't imagine how Marshall must feel because nobody. I've never. I had, I had, a, I had, I have seen my um. I never had anybody close to me that was killed, so I can't I can't even imagine how Marshall must be feeling. But you know, I, I guess I mean. I guess the closest I've ever come to understanding how Marshall must feel is that I mean I guess I I, I guess I've I had a you can say I had like um you can ha you can say I was it wasn't really it was you can say it was um a life or death experience so you know I don't want to say I don't want to I don't want to say like you know, I understand how he feels, but, but, you know, I, I just, I mean, after you get, after you, I mean, I guess that's why Marshall doesn't take his work seriously anymore, because he's like, shit, what's the freaking point, you know, after you, I mean, I guess maybe that's how he feels, I don't know, I'm just making guesses here. I was let's I wanna let's 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 just keep going. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were it's desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That's all we needed. Yeah, I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. Okay, I mean, I, I just... And that's it? That's your reason for your insane action? <laughs> huh. Maybe what's going through I'm gonna I'm gonna offer one explanation for what's what how Officer Marshall feels. I think after his brother died, he's saying, What's the freaking point? I may be killed too. So that's why he can't take his job seriously anymore. That's just my theory on this. Let's just move on. As satisfied with the resolution, Officer Marshall plan to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Yeah, no murder took place. Things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. Hmm. And what are the chances of that happening, like... If no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's offices, parking lot, was the real one. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Man, you bastard. Why you examined the inside the police department today? You know what? There, what? 
But there yet, well, forget it. There yet remains the mystery of the simultaneous murder of the police department. It seems to me, this boy's got the draw on you, partner! Well, we're gonna have to see what this means for Alana Sky in the next episode. Take care, everybody. I will see. Let me take a drink, guys. I will see you guys next time.